Okay, so I got just over four meters of eight millimeter Hempex rope. That's artificial hemp. Um, I'm gonna take this and try to make a carrick bin mat or a thump mat. Uh, basically, you take the thump map and we can use the thump mat when it's finished tied to protect the deck of your boat from blocks or swivels or whatever else you may want to use it for. Or just use it as a coaster or a, uh, a heat pad on a countertop. Okay, so to make this mat, I'm going to start with the center of my rope. And like I said, this is just over four meters or about 16 or so feet. I think this might make about a six inch mat if I tie it tightly. So anyway, center my rope. I'm gonna take the right hand end of the rope and make a loop just like so. Then I'm gonna pass that same end over and twist it again to make a second loop over top. And I'm gonna take this end and pass it under the first loop. So, so far a knot looks like this. Okay, and our next step, take our running end of our knot, or our line, sorry. We're gonna pass over this part of the loop here and under the left-hand end. Okay, so at our final step, take the running end of a rope. We're gonna go over this line and under this line. Come over this line here and under the next one. And then the final time, over and under the next part of the line. Get this loop out of the line here. And there we go. So the knot is now complete. So now we're just going to follow the rope all the way around with the left hand end. We'll follow the knot back around, doubling it, and then tripling. The rope itself. Okay, so from here, we just tighten the mat up starting at well, we could start at the middle, but uh, I'm just gonna start from this end. Start tightening ropes, and then we'll pass through the third loop. And we can probably go slightly tighter than this. I like how it's tight in the middle, but uh, I want to tighten the rest up and then we'll continue weaving until we run out of rope. So our start piece 
which I haven't taped because it's tied. I'm going to, from there, continue to just tighten up my mat. Okay, and so for me, that's good enough. Fairly tight. This end here, we turned over on the back, got our two ends. And this one, basically, they end together. So for now, I'm going to just tape these down and try to flatten out the mat a bit. Could use a rubber mallet or continue just working the slack through. To finish the mat on the back, obviously, we could splice it, sew it, or just tape it down. And this was a bit tighter. I would do one more pass here. As we see, we have only two. And this rope may just fit. Let's give it a shot. In an upcoming video, I'll show you how to finish these ends to make them disappear. But basically, there's the thump mat. Started with about four meters of rope. And this is a very tight one. It's made it about 18 centimeters round. So for you people using Imperial, uh, about 16 feet, it's made about a seven inch, which is about what I thought. I thought about six and a half inches, turned out to be seven. And traditionally on a boat, if there was a fitting through the center of the mat and then a block like this, and this stops the block from damaging the deck and making noise as it moves around on a sailboat. However, home decoration, hot pad, nautical decor, what have you, whatever you want to use it for.